Margaret Catchpole by Melvin and Alex. This story starts in 14th of March, 1762, in Suffolk, England. A little baby was born under the name of Margaret Catchpole. She had two parents, Jonathan and Elizabeth. Little did they know that this was the start of a future legend. Margaret lived and breathed her father's farm, learning and acquiring new skills. Soon enough, she became a she became an amazing horsewoman. Due to the poorness and need of money, she was unable to get much education. Instead, she learned how to cook, serve, and maid. Soon enough, these skills would come to her aid. She worked in many houses, moving around as she changed who she served, until she met the Cobbled family. Miss Cobbled, the wife of the Ispik brewer, employed Margaret. She would serve the family for a long time, doing great deeds. She was treated like family by them, being cared for and looked after. She was responsible for saving the lives of the children in her care three times. During her time serving the Cobbled, she got some education, learning how to read and to write. She became sick for several months and unemployed, and left the Cobbolds at mid-1995. It was the night of 23rd of May 1997. Margaret stole John Cobbold's horse, a coach gelding, and rode it for 10 hours. She travelled 113 kilometres going towards London. She did this for her devotion to William Lord, a smuggler that the Cobbolds disapproved. She stole the horse to get to London and help him. She was caught and sentenced to death at the Suffolk Summer Assizes. She, the sentence was changed, only becoming transportation for several years. On March 25th, 1800, Margaret escaped the 6.7 meter wall using a clothesline. She was caught again and sentenced to death. Again, it was reduced to only life of transportation. She escaped to Mary Lord, but he was shot dead when Margaret was recaptured. She was sent on the Nile, arriving in Sydney, Australia on the 14th of December, 1801. For about 18 months, she became a cook for the commissionary, John Palmer, and wrote to her uncle. One of her letters talks about her freedom as a lady, as she is the commissioner's cook. Margaret will work again for many houses, receiving a lot of responsibility and freedom. On her last letter to the Cobbolds on 1st of September 1811, she tells them about her longing to be pardoned and her want to return to her native land. She was pardoned on the 31st of January 1914, but but was not returned to England. She lived the rest of her life as a midwife and a nurse, keeping a small store in Richmond and always helping others. Her last job was nursing a shepherd, ill with influenza. Unfortunately, she caught the illness from him and died on the 13th of May, 1819. Her legacy is remembered for her warm loving letters. She was known for her intelligence and excellent memory. Her story is known by many, with her having many books and a movie titled The Romantic Story of Margaret Catchpole.